Howdy folks, little John in the kitchen, not the brewery. There's a very good reason for that. Today, it's the first episode of what I'm going to call brew food. Uh, we do all sorts of stuff on little John's up till now and uh, with all the things going along, covered so many topics. I thought it was time we sort of started looking at the food side. You know, the stuff we eat when we're drinking or stuff that we can make with beer. Uh, so, what got me started with that and what I'm actually going to be doing on this very first video is I've been wanting to make beef jerky for quite a while uh, and never, just never really got around to pulling the trigger on buying a dehydrator. Uh, I never really liked these, didn't wasn't real keen to have a crack at it on just on the oven. Uh, wasn't convinced I was going to be able to keep that at the right temperature. And me smoke is a little bit iffy. I've never been able to keep it at a steady temperature either. So uh, never never gone ahead. But recently, uh, as may, some of you will well, well know, I've managed to purchase myself a dehydrator. So uh, I had been tossing around the, doing the food idea for probably about 12 months. Uh, and never really followed through with it. Um, but now that the dehydrator, I thought, uh, now it's probably the time. I said, I'm having a bit of, not trouble, but it's getting to the point where there's a video is done on, on so many subjects, it's getting, well it is, it's getting a little bit difficult to find new stuff to actually be doing videos on all the time. So, and with the cut back on, on, the, um, on the brewing a little bit, with the, with the crazy experimental stuff, um, I was going to have just a little bit more time to streamline the channel a little bit, so uh, brew school it is. So episode number one, I'm, going to do, I'm just going to be doing some um, some beef jerky. Now, I have put out to the Patreons um, for them to throw at me some recipes and some ideas, uh, and from that I will pick. I did say initially with the Patreons it would be the first would be the first one, but. Um, I'm pretty keen to get this uh, dehydrated and this jerky up and done. I've had some changes at work with my hours and when I am and aren't working. So I find myself right now in the middle of a three-day three day run of, uh, of sleepovers. So it frees me up a little bit, changes my times around. So uh, I've got a little bit of time to play around and get this sort of jerky happening. And once the Patreons... Uh, come in with their ideas. I'll go with that. So next next uh, brew day, brew day, next brew uh, brew food day will be something from one of the patrons, uh, and they know what the reward involved in that is. Uh, so today we're rolling on with the beef jerky. So I'm in the kitchen. So again, this isn't. I don't want to be, to be highly detailed. It's not, it's, not, it's not a cooking show, but it's just going to be basically throwing out, giving you guys at home some recipes, some ideas, uh, just a brief look at how to go about doing a particular thing. Um, and at the end of the end of the day, we're, we're going to try it um, and see how it goes. So a lot of these things, along as as with the brewing, are stuff I haven't done before. Um, yeah, I'm a qualified cook. I've worked as a chef. Um, haven't actually done it for quite a while, but um, yeah, there's the a whack of stuff I've not really played around with on this, on the, on this um, the dark art side, smoking and all that sort of and things like that. You know, barbecuing and such. So, um, and a lot of the beer food sort of tends to push that way, smoking and barbecuing and the outdoor stuff. So it's all a little bit. Um, I'm learning a little bit as I go. So off we go. So basically. Could have got these three days today. I'm just going to slice my meat up. Uh, I'm going to let it sit. Tomorrow, I'll have time. I'll mix up the uh, the marinades, which I'll do on do, do um, on the video. Let them sit overnight, and that'll take me into Thursday morning. Today is currently Tuesday. That'll take me into Thursday morning when I'm day, I'm home all day. I'll come home Thursday morning bright and early, and I'll load up the um, dehydrator, and it can run all day. The end of end of day Thursday with never taste and. Um, if I'm not if I'm not wrong, it's Friday when you guys are first looking at this, um, getting a first view of it. So 
let's go. I've gone out and just got myself a bit of meat and I've just gone, gone and grabbed the wild and bloody woolies. Um, and again, I'm sort of obviously trying to work out for me which, which meats are going to work the best. Uh, so from a few things I've watched and whatnot, there's various angles. You can go for a lean meat or you can go for a fattier meat and it varies on the cooking. But, so what I've got, I've got myself just a nice ice fillet steak, uh, which is obviously going to the, yeah, the more expensive end of the uh, spectrum. But anyone who eats jerky is going to, yeah, well aware that it's not, a, it's not a cheap item. It doesn't come cheap. Uh, it works out at about 80 bucks a kilo uh, on a commercial scale. So this really fits in. By the time I get a little bit of wastage out of out of the eye fillet, um, it's still going to be coming in around or probably just under that commercial sort of value. The other steak I got is just just some chuck steak, which has obviously got a bit more fat and whatnot in it. And again, this is to play around, just see what I like the most. So, uh, and what we're looking at is we're going to cut this nice and reasonably thin. Now, I've frozen or partially frozen both of the steaks. And then what I'm looking at is about a three millimetre slice. So, about yay. That's, that's possibly just a little thick. Uh, yeah, and, the, and I said, the thing, these are partially frozen. Uh, I put these in the freezer this morning. They probably had about six hours in the freezer. And as you can see, that helps the meat stay together doesn't push around, makes it far easier to get yourself a nice even slice. And phone's ringing, and I can stay ringing because I'll guarantee you it's going to be a telemarketer. And, so, and you can see here there's some nice little bits of fat through there, so I think that's going to work nicely from I said from what I'm reading and, uh, and watching videos and stuff on, you want a little bit of the fat in there so it doesn't dry out completely. And obviously, as with any steak, that little bit of fat, or what they call the marbling, gives us a nice little bit of flavour because that's where all the good stuff is. So I'm just going to do that. And as you can see, that's come up pretty, pretty easy. Because that's nice and frozen. If that had been yeah, a fresh chunk of meat, that would have been a bloody nightmare. It would have been squashing all over the place and I'd have all sorts of different sizes. So, I'm going to pop that in a Ziploc bag and that'll go into the free, fridge overnight. And then tomorrow when I make the marinade up, we'll just go straight into that bag and that'll soak overnight. So, that one's done. I can get onto this fella, get it done. You don't need to watch that. You've seen it. <laughs> See me cut, you know how thick you want them. Gonna do the same with same with the chuck steak. Uh, so I'll wrap off now and uh, we'll come back uh, shortly and we'll be looking at getting some marinade together. Hey folks, we're back. So it's the next day. You know, mate's been sitting in the fridge overnight, so I've got time to uh, get on with getting some marinades together and getting uh, now meat into soap, so it's ready to go into the uh, dehydrator tomorrow. So what I'm going to do, I'm just knocking up probably uh, three, three marinades, um, fairly standard sort of stuff. But here we go. So the first one I'm going to do is just a, um, it's a variation on a Chinese sort of barbecue type of type of finish. Uh, so it's going to be more a American barbecue than the Chinese barbecue. So I'm looking, it's not quite half a kilo of beef, it's about 400 grams there. Um, so I'm running off a half kilo recipe and it's looking for four tablespoons of honey. So yeah, little John hasn't measured this stuff out before he started. And this is all gonna be fairly, uh, how, how's it go as we go. That's uh, my second. Yeah. Okay, it's not a bad idea to measure your stuff as you go, just to be sure. So we've got, uh, got some honey in there. We're after some oyster sauce. Yeah. Yeah, two tablespoons of the oyster sauce. 
actually nice and thick. We'll give her a little whack in there. We want some light, light soy. And in this recipe, there's no actual soy. Soy. There's no salt going into this one. Um, normally, you have salt in your jerky, so it helps to sort of cure the beef a little bit. Helps it to uh, to dry out, take up the, to take up the moisture. But there's none in this actual recipe. But we are going to get a little bit from the soy. So we want about a tablespoon of soy. That's probably a bit more than that, but it's not going to hurt. And then at once. The original recipe I'm going off of was originally with four tablespoons of char siu sauce, which is Chinese barbecue. Uh, I haven't got any. I really thought I had a bottle of char siu in the in the cupboard. I must have used it and not replaced it. So instead, and this is where I've turned to American. I've gone to the cupboard and seen what we've got. So I'm using. I'm just going to use two mixes of some barbecue sauce I've got in the uh, in the cupboard. One's a smoky bacon flavoured, uh, so this is just standard barbie sauce. I'm going to throw about two tablespoons of that in. And the other one I'll be using is just a bit of um, it's Jack Daniels, it's uh, jalapeno, jalapeno, jalapeno chilli sauce. Uh, this was a Christmas present got from a young bloke at Christmas. This has got a little bit of kick in it. so. We're going for a sort of a sweet barbecue, but it's also going to have a little bit of a uh, little bit of bite. Um, and half a teaspoon of paprika. And that's more about colour than anything else than paprika. But what I'm going to throw in there with this heat is just a few chili flakes. They are hot ones, so I'm not going to go too crazy on there. Get them in there, and just a touch of black pepper. So just give a little bit of bite against the honey. And quite a bit here, uh, so just going to have no trouble coating what we've got here. So you want to mix that up. Medium. And I'm going to throw it all in so I've got plenty of, uh, plenty of juice there. I'll get it all in. Can go back into the bag. And just want to make sure each piece has got a nice coating. It's all, all covered. We just go through and do this with all the beef. Now, what I can do, because I have got so much here for the marinade, I will um, play around this a little bit and adjust it and use it on some of the. Uh, Others I've got, no good wasting it. As I said, this, this is all a bit new for me, so uh, I'm uh, getting myself used to the uh, measurements. Yeah, so what I'll do with this one, I'm going to make this into a uh, more traditional, into a more of a uh, real smokehouse sort of a uh, barbecue finish. We'll have a look at that shortly. Get this one done. It's a little bit messy so we're going to sacrifice that uh, tea towel under there but it's all good. It's what washing machines are for. Alright, uh, so Get that in the bag. Mm -hmm. 
Ooh, is it locked that up? I don't know, that's all nice, nice and coated. And we'll, that's our first chunk done. And we'll leave that aside. And right now, I've got to duck out, take me dog to, uh, to the groomer. Get her all spruced up and nice looking. That's a little, little brew dog. Um, little fluffy buggy. Little fluffy water collie. She <laughs> going for a trim and a trim and a wash. So uh, she can come inside with the missus at night. So uh, I'm going to do that. Come back. We'll get on with the rest. Okay. I'm back. The dog sorted out. And uh, we've got our large bag of meat which come off our bigger chunk, uh, which was a little bit little bit fattier. Uh, so I'm going to split this, do about half of this. So using what we've got left from that barbecue, I'm just going to um, just dress this one up a little bit. So we'll start with just a little bit of brown sugar, about a tablespoon. We'll throw in some garlic powder. About a quarter of a teaspoon. And oh, it's gonna go cayenne, not go any cayenne in here. We will drop just a splash of wash this year. About a quarter of a teaspoon of wash this year. Now mix him back up. Now, okay. I'm not too worried about giving these a good coating at the moment. So I said tomorrow I will uh, pat them off a bit before they go into the dehydrator. So same thing, we'll grab about half of that, what we've got there, straight in, mix him up. And do a fresh bag. Now these are a lot uh, skinnier strips, these fellas. So these will dry out a little bit more, so I think, so these will cook a little bit faster in the dehydrator. Um, that will offset a little bit because there is a little bit more fat on them. And let's make sure we've got good coating on the whole strip. And if, it's not, if it's not coated, then it's not going to do any curing in the fridge, and that will reduce how long it will store for. And given that there's a decent way here, I'm not going to get through this in a hurry. Uh, Mrs. Little John doesn't eat jerky. I can probably give a little bit away, but, you know, that's, that's being a, <laughs> not a cheap exercise to make. It's not something you're going to give a lot of it away. So, anyway. So, that's all in. Now, I'll give this bowl a quick uh, wash out. And we'll start in the next bit. Righto. Clean bowl. Yeah. Got a uh, bit more detailed recipe for this fella. I'm doing a um, teriyaki finish on this one. So, uh, again, the recipe here is looking for half a kilo of beef. I haven't got quite half a kilo, so I just need to adjust a little bit. So we start off with some light soy sauce. About a tablespoon. Now Worcestershire. Uh, one and a half teaspoons, so probably want 
close to a teaspoon, so we need a decent whack. Now, um, it's funny, I was watching one video, one fella, one American fella, um, and he uses an awful lot of water this year. Uh, way more than I'd ever bloody use. And if we can get the lid off it, look at that, beautiful. So, get a good splash of that in there. Wash this year. Now, it says three teaspoons of cooking sherry. I've missed it. I've missed that. I haven't got cooking sherry. Ah. Uh, so, just put a little bit of tartness instead. I'm just going to use a little bit of uh, white wine vinegar, but only maybe a tablespoon at most. It did want three, but we're not going to want three. Uh, um, all good. That's more brown sugar. Just about a tablespoon. Now yeah, we'll go a little bit more on that. Brown sugar. And salt. About a teaspoon of salt. Oh, that's more than a teaspoon. Just like some of that out of there, crikey. Got to be carried away there. All good. See, this is why the, uh, you see the chefs on TV have everything all measured out in little fancy bowls. Makes it, um, takes that out of the equation. But, also makes a fucking mountain of washing up. So, about half a teaspoon of garlic powder. Ginger. Ginger, ginger, ginger. Mr. Ginger. Da -da 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 -da. See you somewhere. Now you can probably use the uh, dry ginger. I, I have got some. I've got a jar sitting out in the um, garage for doing ginger beer in the very near future. But uh, I can't go for walking out there. Quarter teaspoon of black pepper. Oh, a bit of pepper. Black pepper so. Give that a few grinds. Black pepper, onion powder. Now, make sure when you're doing this you, with the onion and the garlic, you use onion and garlic powder. Not, only, it's only about a quarter teaspoon of the onion, onion powder. Use powder, don't use the salt. Um, apparently the salt clumps, uh, and it's also not quite the same effect. Okay. Paprika, about a quarter teaspoon of paprika. And that's more again about the... Um, the red colour and a bit of cayenne, and it's just a like just a pinch of cayenne, um, just for a little bit of just for a little bit of heat. So this is more about just a nice blend of the sweet and the heat. All good. And we get our last of the meeting. Straight in. Get a good mix in. All right. And we do the same thing. This one coating into the bag. Once they're done, into the fridge overnight, and. Uh, I said, tomorrow we'll put, them in, we'll put them in the dehydrator and we'll get them cooked up. And we'll come back uh, and we'll have a look at that then. Right, hey, folks. It's uh, jerky cooking day. Um, I suppose it's cooking. It's not really cooking, is it? It's dehydrating, but close enough. Um, so I've moved out into the... Um, even to the brewery, uh, just because I'm going to be out here doing other things today, so um, it's just going to work easier for me to have an eye, eye on this out here. So, uh, just get myself a little bit of paper towel here. So, 
So I've got me uh, bags of goodies that have been sitting and marinating away. So what I want to do now before I get them onto the uh, dehydrator is I want to soak up some of the moisture off the meat because that's just going to increase the time it's going to take to actually dry uh, and it's just going to apparently leave us with a not so good product. So what I'm looking to do is just get this meat and it's going to lay it about a bit on the paper so I can blot it dry because obviously all, all the flavour now is well and truly in the meat and we don't want this stuff on the outside it's not a uh, you know, not barbecue we don't want that flavour cooking on there the flavour is all in the meat and there will be enough left on the outside so you can see already what this, what's starting to do it's starting to, the, the meat's starting to fall apart um, so it's tenderised from the salts that are in the in the sauce uh, which will assuming it's going to help to keep it nice and tender that's the idea so I'm liking the look of this it's smelling good so this is the barbecue and see it's fairly uh, it's fairly moist at the moment so yes, the understanding is we stick that in the in the dehydrator, it's going to struggle to cook off that moisture, uh, which means the meat won't cook properly, won't dry out. So we don't want that. Mm -hmm. And you see, there's a lot of a lot of juice left in that bag that we don't want. So pop that aside. Some extra paper and blot up the excess moisture. end of proceeding is going to be nice and uh, messy so to show you how we can get this one onto, uh, onto a tray and just want to lay them out straight on the tray and we just lay them out nice yeah again you need to leave, you need to leave a little bit of space between them they will shrink as they go but um it's all good plenty of room i've got five trays on this dehydrator so i think i've got plenty of room for all i've got uh i was tossing up throwing some of this onto the smoker but i said i've got other things on us including bottling a batch uh and also want to get a five and five video out so, five on, five on Friday, get a video done. So, uh, let me a little bit push my time. So what, what I've seen used is, when you're using multiple trays, to have one tray with your meat going one way, as much as possible, and then the next tray crisscrossing, alternating the direction. So that it just helps the, air, the airflow around a bit easier. Yeah, this meat's looking and feeling really good. I'm, I said, first time batch, I would like, I tend to think this is looking pretty good for this uh, point in proceedings. So, this is going to work. This tray is going to be just perfect. It's like it was custom made for the job. Uh, 
that's all our meat from this one. So that's him done. Our first first tray gone. So you can see again how much moisture we've soaked up, and that's looking that's pretty good. It's not completely dry, dry, but it's only it's got that nice little layer of moisture on it. So I'll go through now, do this with the remainder, and um, we'll pop back and just have a look when we're putting on the putting the dehydrator on. Okay, so I've uh, loaded up the uh, the hydrator. I've set it to currently on four. I'm going to make it five. But we're we'll getting going. We're on away. Right, uh, that's probably a bit loud at the moment, that's all good. Uh, I expect this to take about three hours from what I've been reading, um, maybe four. It is quite thin, so I'm not sure. And that's why I've got it out here, so I can sort of keep an eye on it. But, she's away. Uh, we'll be back soon. We'll cut. Magic of television. We'll be back and we'll uh, have a bit of a taste and see how we've gone. Okay. Excuse the noise for a minute. We are uh, about four hours and twenty minutes in, and I think, think we are done. Now I had a little bit of a um, taster around uh, three hours twenty, and uh, there was still just a little bit of moisture in the in the jerky. So I gave it an extra hour. And I think we're looking pretty good. So there's still a tiny bit of moisture on there. Oh. It tastes good. Meat looks nice and dry. Yeah. Hmm. It's yummy, but it's probably it. It's still just a little bit moist. Mm. Yeah, that's nice. That's the um, that's the barbecue there. Uh, as I said, it's just a little bit sticky, still on the surface. Um, and that needs to dry out completely. So. Look over the rest of it, and yeah, it all. It's the teriyaki. Okay, and I think that's ready to go. That's. Hmm. It's dry, chewy, it's got oh, beautiful flavour, it's sweet, spicy, without being hot, mmm, that's yum. So, 
but it is it's dry it's still nice and bendy and soft but the moisture's out of that so um, and again that may be a case of that fin of beef the first one is the was the eye fillet uh, didn't be it didn't seem to be quite as so this is the extra barbecue we added the extra bit to the okay yeah and that's good and dry now too yep. I'm going to take the teriyaki off let it cool I'm going to put both of these barbecues back on just give them another I'll probably give them another 15 or 20 minutes just to uh, try and get that last little bit of moisture off them but um, done, I'm happy with that, I'm very happy so I'm pleased with the results so brew food number one thumbs up uh, Little John's first crack at jerky certainly appears to have been at least successful enough to uh, warrant more effort in the future um, I've learned a little bit uh, I think uh, meat choice um, getting a bigger chunk so I can make bigger pieces would be um, a good idea going forward but these bits are yeah, they're small there's nothing wrong with that they're good good chillable sizes, uh, they're just a little bit fiddly to work with so I think um, if I was to go for a, you know, a round steak or a top side uh, where I can get bigger pieces I think that would certainly help to make that process a little bit easier but everything else I'm pretty happy with, the marinades uh, all work reasonably nice so could probably do a little bit more bite into the um, the barbecue one that was dressed up a little bit uh, there's not a lot of kick in there but I did only have a little bit uh, have a few more pieces it will prob probably will add up so but yeah I'm done very happy little John I'm done got any comments any questions yeah you want to pick at me process uh, go right ahead or you want to ask any questions down the bottom usual place as always if you aren't subscribed to little John hit the hit the button down there in the corner so you get notified when there's a new video up we do this, we do we do brew food, we do beer, we do talk about beer, we drink it. Yeah, if it's got something to do with beer, then it's a good chance it's gonna be on the channel. Uh but I'm not, that's me done. I've got no beer because I haven't actually sat down and had one yet. I'm about to sit down and have myself a brew. So uh till I see you again. We're uh drinking beer, brewing beer or talking beer. Good brewing.